This is Dave from Cheap Books. I'm playing World of Tanks. I'm going to be playing the T26E4 Super Pershing Tier 8 Premium Tank. It's a live game. It's not pre-recorded, so I haven't played the game yet. I'm ready to go into battle. I'm about halfway ranked with the other tanks. Uh, it's Lakeville map, so i got a few different options. Um, I don't have the best tank. A lot of these other tanks are more powerful than me. So I have to be a little bit careful. Um, I like to play in the town. I like to play in the valley. What I usually do is I head straight for that lake. And I try and spot them while they're on the way to town. I don't have the binox, unfortunately. I'm going to go there, try and spot some tanks. And um, after perhaps a minute, I'll retreat. <coughs> And depending on where the enemy shows up, I might either head for the town or I might head for the valley. So basically, where I'm headed is a good spot to get some early strikes, some cheap shots on the enemy. Unfortunately, I'm a little too slow to get there. I've done it before with this tank, so it's not like it's impossible. And that T-49 is going to make it difficult so I might be wasting my time. If he spots me, I can just pretty much forget about it. He's going to keep my guys busy. So here's the spot that I go to, right over here. I'm looking to see if I can spot some tanks going across. So far, nothing. It's too bad. It took me a long time to get here, so I don't expect to see anything. And I don't have the binox, so maybe they're out of my range. Another good thing about this spot is that you can go into the town, which is right here. You see where those where those tanks are? That's the the cap on the encounter game. And you can take some shots at some tanks that are near the cap. Okay, we really need people in the valley. So I'm going to head that way. It's a very vulnerable road right here. Uh, there's people from all over can hit you. That T-34, yeah, he's, he made it over the valley, but it doesn't matter. Uh, he's not going to get anything as long as our artillery hides. He's still got a long way to go. And that artillery, you know, they can do a lot of damage. You don't want to Got to be careful about getting in front of their guns. They got powerful guns. Okay. them. Went right by him. Okay, so I'm going to head over to their territory. The 
that I think is a Japanese tank. I wasn't expecting him there. I mean, why is that tank there? Why didn't he cross over and help his allies? You know, he's, he's like a coward. He's sitting back there and hiding. Okay, so my commander is injured, and, and it's not... You know, you don't want your commander to be injured. Your commander is the most important uh, person in your tank. Uh, so it creates some problems when that happens. Uh, you can see an artillery shot went in after that uh, enemy artillery. I'm going to see if I can aim at that artillery from here. It looks like I won't be able to. Missed him. Got to keep on moving so he doesn't hit me. Hit. I think I'm going to get that guy. Okay. There's one more player left. We don't know where he is. There he is. And he's gone. That was a pretty good game. If we win, it's a good game. Okay, so let's see um, how I did. I was low on experience, low on damage. I was profitable, which is always good didn't hit anyone on my team. Uh, nothing special, but it was still a good game. Um, so he's got the medium caliber tank gun rammer, and he's got these uh, coated optics. It would be nice to have um, the binox, but unfortunately you can't. You know, now's a good time to talk about it. Camouflage is essential. Coated optics, I would say the medium caliber tank gun rammer, uh, because it it reloads a little bit faster. And then I would say after that the binocs are the next most important. 